Welcome to another episode of Reasonably Shady. I am Giselle Bryant. What's up, what's up? I'm Robin Dixon. Thank you so much for being here with us once again woo, on episode woo, woo, woo. 151. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, so like, it's so sweet. Like all of like the feedback and the love notes and all the things that y'all did for 150. We love y'all so much. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Yes. It was such that episode was so fun. Um, and all of the feedback, all of the support shout out to our giveaway winners. Thank you for everyone who entered our giveaway contest. Um, so crazy. Two very familiar names, <laughs> <laughs> right? I'm like, y'all must have been in a competition trying to like win this contest. So right. Asia, who often writes in, you know, she actually, her voice was heard on the 150th episode. Um, Asia won the $150 gift card. Derek Dash, our favorite. Ooh, 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 ooh. Hey, Derek. Doc, our favorite worker at the port who um, he told us actually. Shout out to Derek because Derek emailed us or or messaged me and he was like, hey, want to let y'all know the dock workers are probably most likely going on strike starting October 1st. Wow. And okay. they need more money. They need more money. Yeah. And that's okay. going to affect, that's going to affect like shipping all across. Oh. It's going to be like major because it's from like Maine all the way down, you know, past Maryland. So like huge, 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 huge. Okay, um, we need that fixed because is that going to affect my Amazon deliveries? It it could like affect that. it could fit a, it it could affect a lot of stuff, and I guess really a, a lot of stuff that would come from overseas, right? So mm -hmm. stuff that has to come into the to the docks to the ports. Um, so you know, if you're ordering stuff on Amazon and it's local or whatever, and, and it's like within the U.S., then it's fine. But if you're trying to order like some furniture or or equipment, even like for my business, I'm my um thankfully my <clears> stuff is here. But like the treatment beds that we have are like custom made and they come from overseas and that could, if they hadn't already arrived, that could have affected my business that I'm trying to open, you know? So Let me glow 30, get that glow 30. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Um, so, so, oh, and then Angela Conwell won the personalized message. So. Shout Love out that. to you guys. You'll be receiving all of your prizes um, very soon this week. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, before we get to our shady moment of the week, want to do a little housekeeping, people. Go ahead. You got something? No, I was gonna say, by the way, when you the um when I heard how our when we played like the first episode, our intro to the first episode, I like chuckle because we do sound a lot different. It's like now we have our little like routine and how we yeah. start the show. But when we first, that first episode, it was like, hi, hello. Um, <laughs> you know, how y'all doing? <laughs> right. So that yes, was right. We've come a long way. We have come we have. a long way, we which have. I love. Yes. And I feel like I, my voice has changed. Like I, now I sound like an old lady or something. Not an old lady. I sound um, like a, like my voice is deeper. Yeah, a little bit. It is. Yeah. Like when, when yeah. you play back like the earlier episodes, it's like a little bit. And then I still sound like a 14 year old boy. So <laughs> <laughs> That we love. That we love. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. So October 6th, it's been announced that the season nine of The Real Housewives of Potomac is going to be back in action. Sunday. Yes, congratulations. Yes, yes, yes. That's happening. Um, so we're excited about that. And then I posted, I am going, Giselle is going to be launching, debuting her, her one woman show of sorts. It is going to be at the City Winery in Chicago, October 21st. Get your tickets. Giselle's going to be providing you questions, 21 of them, 21 shady questions, me and you, and be ready for like, crowd participation because I'm be, you know, asking y'all some questions. So it's going to be like a lot of fun. So get your tickets. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yes. Of course, people were like sending this to me and they were like, 
what's happening? Is Reasonably Shady breaking up? Why are you Wait, all not on tour? In the comments, they're like, so Robin's busy? Like, <laughs> like why is Robin coming? So why, right? So yes, right. it's just me, guys. Okay, dang. Yeah. Well, I can't yeah. leave the house without Robin? Sheesh. Yeah, and y'all know I'm Robin sorry. don't want to leave the house. So <laughs> I guess. All right. A no, shady I'm, yeah, no, I'm, ex I'm ex well, I'm excited for you. And I hope to one day see your one woman show. And see yes. what it's all about. Yes, yes. So yeah. this Chicago is um, the introduction. Um, we'll see how Chicago goes. If Chicago gives me love, then I'll be all over the country. So Chicago is on you to give me love. If, if y'all don't give me love, then the show is canceled. <laughs> the pressure is on. <laughs> um, the all right. Pressure. So shady moment of the week, right? I'm be honest with y'all. I'm out of town. And I could literally write a book on the shade that's been happening in my life the past <laughs> two weeks. But as of right now, I can't talk about it. So right. yes. don't skip over that. And we're going to yes. get to this person in my life who is called Grace. Okay. Who in the middle of the, my, in the middle of the night, remember in the middle of the night, you said your phone was going off with like a Missy Elliott song? Yeah. Which, middle by the, the night, way, by the way, mm -hmm. it happened again since I talked about it on the podcast and it was Kendrick Lamar. <laughs> okay. Which, but like, we love Kendrick. So not a, it's not, okay. a two, not a two in the morning. Mm -mm. Okay. Okay. We don't love him that much. No. Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's a glitch in your phone, Robin. Let's be clear. There's a glitch. It's, I don't know what it is, but it's my Pandora that it, I figured, oh. I realized it's Pandora. So it's not coming from Apple Music or Spotify or anything else. It's Pandora and it just yeah. randomly just glitches. But yeah, I don't know. No one has told me, somebody did email like, oh, maybe your, your neighbor's using, sharing your Spotify and your neighbor is getting on it. And I'm like, no, I don't. That could be not, it. No. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm like that's not it yeah it's my phone is just glitchy but yeah. okay well this person in my life named grace and i don't really know where she came from but she's she's just in my life um it's very in the middle of the night and my phone just starts going off like ping 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 i didn't have my um i didn't have it silenced so mm -hmm. i was like what is happening what is going on and I just rolled over and went back to sleep. When I looked at my phone, mm -hmm. I had like maybe 12 links of things she wants oh. me to buy her. Oh my God. So she just flooded me with a bunch of links. At the end, it says, thanks, I-L-Y. And uh, so I uh, like, I-L-Y. What? <laughs> you didn't know I what that know. meant? <laughs> I did not know what that meant. Thanks, I-L-Y. First of all, Grace. You didn't, you didn't say, Mom, I need a bunch of stuff. I'm running right. low. Blah, blah. No, I just, in the middle of the night, I get like 12 like Amazon links. Like, are you oh kidding? Oh Thanks, I-L-Y. Grace, I don't know why you're in my life. I don't know where you no. came from. Like, this has and got look, to stop. If she had time to send you 12 links, she had time to write out, I love you. Like, no, you cannot. <laughs> no. Yes. No shortcuts. <laughs> No little acronyms, no whatever. No, write that shit out. You want yes. <laughs> you want me to buy 12 things for you? No, you're going to write, and I love you. you. I love you, mommy. Thank you so much. I love you so much. You're the best mom under the sun. You can give me all of that, okay? Right, Thanks. right. I am why? I come with <gasps> a bunch of face. I don't even know where this child came from. I do not, but that's oh a mess. And why are... in the middle of the night? You couldn't send me all of these during the day? Right. So you just she up did. at night scrolling through Amazon trying to figure out what you want? Yeah, no. Yeah, pretty much. You know, the world revolves around them. That's it. That's to totally. So That's yeah, I haven't talked to her since I got this. And um Tell yeah. her like the next time. Well, do you have your email notifications? Do they come do they ping too? Like do no, they make a noise when you get no. an email? Hell no. So no. like tell her next next time you want to send me a bunch of links. Like put it in an email so that it doesn't disturb your sleep. Like if it's not important, you yes. know what I mean? Because yeah. like I have my, so I finally started using do not disturb while I sleep 
but I do have yeah. like my family, my boys, my parents, Juan on like, you know, they can like call and the phone will ring at any time. Right. Oh, but actually I think the text messages don't come through. Yeah. So, so if you don't have your, if you have your phone on do not dis- disturb, you won't hear her text messages. However, she still needs to put that shit in the email. Like if it's like that late at night. No, next time you want to send a bunch of links, send it to your father. Don't send it to me. Okay. Well, that's if you want to do an I L Y, send that to, send that all that to Jamal that's Bryant. True. So they don't yeah. have like um access to your Amazon account? Hell no, Robin. Huh? I'm broke. <laughs> I know. I Giselle, Giselle would be broke. Talk about Giselle need to work overtime. I know. <laughs> I know. I know. Okay, what is your shady moment? So Carter's birthday was recent. And I tell him, send me links to what you want, right? Right. And he wants Essentials clothing. Are you familiar with Essentials? Yes. Okay. Yeah, brand yeah, Fear yeah. of God, Essentials. Yeah. So I go and, you know, it's it's. I get him a bunch of stuff. I go to, like, all these different sites online get them all like the different size you know the different stuff that he needs because there's you know the availability is different in different stores right and i'm like okay adult extra small that should be good the shit gets here it's all too big he's like swimming in it wait a minute adult extra oh adult extra small Uh uh-huh okay adult extra small because he's like he's like long he's a really he has a really hard body to fit because he's very skinny but mm-hmm. he has really long arms. So mm-hmm. like, you know, bigger sizes or small, smaller sizes that might fit like his body, they don't fit his yeah. arm. So you gotta right. go up the size and then it's all big, whatever. So we get this, all this stuff. He's swimming in it, it's too small, whatever. I mean, too big. And for whatever reason, this freaking brand has a final sale policy on like everything. So I what? cannot, right. I can't exchange, return any of it. I am stuck with these clothes that don't fit him. So then Corey is like, oh, well, it'll fit me. Like, give it to me. <laughs> <laughs> Corey's like, it ain't my birthday, but I got right. gifts. Right. So, <laughs> so now Corey got a whole bunch of new essential Look, know, Carter. Poor Carter. Poor Carter. Right. It is so frustrating. Like it's so frustrating finding clothes for that boy. Today was dress down day at his school. Yeah. And I was like, oh, now I know why these schools have uniforms. Because we yeah. were almost late getting to school because he could he was, oh, this is too small. This is too tight. This is oh my God. And he, and it was, the, fit, the fit gotta be fitting. Like he got oh, to be cute. Okay. Yes. If, so, if he can wear his clothes, he got to be cute with it. Oh my gosh. So finally, look, I'm telling you, he's having the worst day of his life today because oh. finally like Juan was like, you better just put this on. I mean, and it was like good stuff, but he just, for whatever reason, it's like, I don't know, not what he wanted. So he put on this little Nike sweatsuit and he was in school and I'm driving him to school the whole time. And he is like, so sad, so quiet, so like pensive. And like, I'm like, Boy, if you don't put a smile on your face, like your your yeah. day is about to be ruined because ruined. you're over here worried about your damn outfit. Okay, so he what did he turn for? What did he turn? Thirteen? He turned fifteen. <gasps> Carter's fifteen. Fifteen. Robin, he's still my baby though. Robin, you about to be at the end of the road, sis? I'm here to tell I you, know. the end of the road is not a good feeling. I know. I know. <laughs> I know. I know. <sighs> And he's so cute. All right, you know I've been waiting because you know I'm over I'm over here in my, on my work conference, and we, so we haven't been able to talk like we normally talk. Right, Robin, I couldn't wait to get on this here episode so we can talk about the thousand bottles of baby oil. Okay, oh, a thousand, <laughs> a thousand bottles of baby oil, <laughs> a thousand, <laughs> a thousand, <laughs> not a hundred. A thousand bottles of baby oil. What? what? <laughs> it is insane. In I, freaking insane. 
I love I love that they counted them and that they like <laughs> let us know that part. Like you know, there's probably yes. like so much other stuff in that indictment that they could have let us know. <laughs> Ooh. But I mean, you lost me with thousand miles by a baby. A thousand? Like, why? Okay, why? so I so I what do you envision? I mean, of course, like first of all, baby oil is not a safe. It's not a good lubricant. Like it's actually, you're not supposed to use baby oil as a lubricant. So I envision him like taking the bottle and like squirting it on people. <laughs> okay, so. So, okay, then, Robin, I didn't know that you heard a thousand bottles of baby oil and you're trying to envision what he's doing with it. Okay, so you're thinking <laughs> he's taking the bottle, he's squirting it around the orgy, and everybody's yes. having a slip slide. They're, okay. they're just like slip and slide all with each other. Like, I just, because I'm, because, because baby oil is not a lubricant. You don't put baby oil down there and expect it to like do what you expect it to do. You need it, you need the silicone to be more, you know, the, you know what lubricant feels maybe like. Maybe that's his lubricant of cho- clearly that's his lubricant of choice. Okay. Un- or he's just trying to keep Johnson Johnson. Well, there's in lubricant. It. It, it was one thousand bottles of baby oil and lubricant. So oh, so a thousand total. Total. <laughs> okay. Okay, that imagine makes sense. Being, imagine being the employee who's responsible for ordering the thousand right. bottles of baby oil. Like, well, I mean, because like you're not going to CVS and like buying that. Like, that's like a bulk order. You might even call J and J. Be like, mm, one of them trucks. Like, back it up to our house. Back and it just up. Drop, off, drop off a crate. A crate. <laughs> or the oh. Amazon, the Amazon driver. Um, I have a thousand bottles of baby oil for a. What, Mister? And like, where do you store it? Is that like, the, is there like a baby oil closet? Like, where are you putting all of this? I I envision. Okay, so you remember like, um, what's that? Fifty Shades of Grey. How he had yeah. in that book or that movie, he had like, a just a whole room dedicated to yeah his little sex fetishes. So I just I yes. assume he has a whole section of his house that is just dedicated to this to his freak offs and. <sighs> They're in the closet, and as people walk in, he's like, "Your baby oil." <laughs> Get your baby. I'm just thinking like like a urinary tract infection. I'm thinking a yeast infection. I'm just like, oh god, it's just the 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 bacteria alone going on. I just I'm not, it's just all disgusting. I'm not aroused by the thought of this freak off situation. Like, I mean, no. especially when you hear, yeah. and, I, and I know, and, and, and I want to say, like, I know we're laughing about the situation, but it no, is very not. sad. It is very serious because there there were people who, you know, from what it sounds like, were kind of doing this because they were forced to, or they were drugged, or, you know, the, and I just can't imagine being in that situation and being aroused and wanting to be yeah. involved in that crap. Like and, after, and they said it cause they said it lasted for days. Like I understand like, okay, y'all, y'all at a party and, and whatever you take your little ecstasy and you get a little freaky and everyone's, you know, playing around, whatever. And then two hours later you're done. But like, yeah. and, and I'm saying this because I watch movies, not because I- <laughs> so this is what Robin and Wine do. Right. Okay. <laughs> For those of you all who don't know what we're talking about, I don't know who that could possibly be. Oh, I know. Be. We're just like rambling. But, you, have, you, um, can't, you have to know what we're talking about. I know. You have to do it. But Sean Puffy Combs was arrested for a laundry list of things that it, that are like horrible. Racketeering, prostitution, not prostitution, sex trafficking. Yeah. Sex trafficking. Um, and then prostitution, like tra- it, it It was um, like arson. Traveling. Yeah. Arson? Like he's, he's, you're going from, from, um, state to state or whatever, like you're, yeah. what do you call it? Um, if you go across transporting, state lines or whatever, transporting, uh, uh, yeah, transportation of sex workers. Right. Yes. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Um, so he is in jail. He put up, or he offered to put up, with no bail, he offered to put up a $50 million bail right. and not ever speak to women except his kids and turn over his passports and the kids' passports. And the judge was like, hell no, you're a flight risk. You got a plane. And um, you, you didn't do done too much. I personally think, and this is really, 
the whole situation is so sad. I, mm -hmm. you know, so many people are coming out now and saying, yes, he did this to me. Yes, he ruined my life. Yes, he beat me up. Yes, I was drugged. Like, it's 100% disgusting, right? right. And we're, it was all allegedly because he hasn't been convicted yet. And didn't he plead yeah. not guilty? Has he pled yet? I don't know that. I, think, I don't know. I don't know. If, no, I, I, guess I don't he know. Did. If, yeah, I think. Yeah, yeah I'm sure he did. Like, I'm, but I mean, I'm sure he did. listen, <laughs> listen. And, and, I, and it's all like, as a woman. Yeah. And as a woman that has grown up in his era, so to speak, um, have I been to a puffy party? Sh I mean, a puffy event? Sure. Right. Um, have, could I have been caught up in something like that? Maybe. So it's just, it hits home. It's disturbing. Right. And, you know, I pray for any victim that is out there. Like, yeah. my God. Yeah. Cause that stuff, it's like, even though you, you know, it could have been a short period of time in somebody's life. Like that has consequences, like that last lifetime consequences. It can really affect someone's just, you know, mental and emotional health. And so what he's doing, and it's kind of sick to read or hear a lot of people talk about, oh, this, this stuff happens all the time. It's not a crime. Yeah. Why is he arrested? And you yeah. know, it's like, first of all, did y'all not see the word prostitution and you know it's like, right. like and let's call it out like boosie you're like i don't understand why he getting arrested this is just this is like an average tuesday like this is what we do like what right, right. you like forcing crazy. right forcing people to take drugs to do this stuff. and no there's it's much deeper than just a freaking orgy it's not just an orgy like he right. ruined people's lives he he used his power to force people to do what he wanted them to do. That is a crime. Like it, yes. it's just, and the process, the prostitution of it all. And, oh. and you know, I, don't know, I saw someone that, Oh yeah. You know, girl, guys will fly girls out and give them a bag. That's not the same thing. We're talking about sex workers and trans and flying sex workers, you know, in to, to, to participate in these, Freak offs. That is prostitution. Yeah. When, no, when has prostitution ever been legal? It's not. It's not. And drugging them. Like, it's not. Yeah. It's not legal. It's, <laughs> you yeah. can't so, do that. So it's sick. And then, and then, you know, we know a lot of these from, you know, just allegedly, a lot of the females involved were girls who wanted to be in the music industry. And of course. he manipulated them. And, you know, force them to think that these are the things that he, that they needed to do in order to excel in their career, which yeah. how many of them can we say have actually had a great career that, that, yeah. you know, that have come from him. Listen, so I, in that I, jail I, situation, I was, I watched the story yesterday, last night on the jail that he's in. They said it is horrible and it's oh, just really? like, a, yeah, it's horrible. Like people have been, um, murdered recently like you know there's been a multiple suicides and i know they say he's on suicide watch like he's supposedly like in a cell that has like plexiglass so they can look at him and watch. stuff yeah um yeah this is uh, i mean it's horrible all the way it's around I'm, I'm sure it's, it's, a, it's just a so sorry for the kids and, but sorry for the girls yeah. sorry for and those imagine, girls Imagine how much more shit we're going to hear. Like, remember how he settled with Cassie because he didn't yeah. want us to hear everything and he didn't want it to, to go any farther. He better plead guilty and just be done if he doesn't want us to hear everything. Because I know that we're what we're hearing is not even scratching the surface. Well, it's not even that. It's like <laughs> people don't, people that, people above him don't want it to be aired out what was really going on. So if this thing goes to trial, I'll be shocked. I mean, shocked. it doesn't even have to be people above him. It could be, you know, just anyone. Like it could be anyone that has some sort of career that if they have ever been involved in this and their name gets put out there and, you know, 
they, they don't yeah. even have to be the people above him. But yeah, the people above him who have like a lot of money and they can pull some strings and stuff, they probably will be trying to to prevent yeah. it. Listen, I I opened up my um, you know, my my workplace convention. Is that what it's called? Yeah. What am I? What am I? You're on? at a conference, a workplace, I'm at a, a work <laughs> a work conference. <laughs> Um, but I, I, cause you know, I'm not on my social media to her, um, almost at, ever right now, but, um, I did open up my little Instagram. I saw Cassie, she was walking around the street. She was smiling. She was a happy uh-huh. camper. <laughs> I was like, yes. Right. Big old smile on her face. Yes. I know, she, right. I know some people have a sense of relief Yeah, and I'm not mad at it. And that probably feels better to her than the money that she got. Yeah, totally. You know, like hearing that, oh, he's like really about to get it. Like, you know, no, like think about it. I'm just saying, right. I mean, yeah, the money's great. But, (laughs) but think about it. He, if there are so many people in positions like him who can just throw money at a problem and it goes away. But you're still a piece of shit. You still have ruined people's lives. You still have done so much damage. And so for her, seeing him, you know, hopefully being brought to justice is probably even like that's that's like the icing on the cake for her for real so absolutely now yeah. number two was not walking around with a smile on their face who's that this girl giselle because her boyfriend jalen hurt got engaged uh-uh. how did he do that to me what? why would he do that to me <laughs> well, he, got he, got tired, he got tired of waiting for you okay oh. <laughs> He waiting for you waiting time on dudes with no teeth. Like he was like, you know what? <laughs> she gonna she gonna play these games <laughs> and, and, and go on dates with dudes with no teeth. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and get engaged. Right. He gets engaged to longtime girlfriend Bri Burrows. Is that her name? I'm gonna assume it's Brie because Brie Brie B R Y right B R Y Brie. You know, I don't know her, so I don't know. I mean, it doesn't say Giselle. That one, so I'm- that one is like Bry. I don't know her, and phonetically, it's Bry. So I'm gonna, we're gonna say it's Bry. We're gonna say it's Bry. I have a problem with this, and and he knows it. And Jalen, you know, we're gonna talk about this because you you didn't even tell me you was gonna get engaged to the girl. Like you just <laughs> went and did it behind my back, and you know you're my boyfriend. So it's like, why would you do this to me? I don't understand. So, so he didn't tell you that he was in a long-term relationship with her (laughs) this is woman this is his woman you just no he did not you didn't do your research you didn't didn't do your research he did not and i don't like it i don't like it anyway (laughs) moving on what i do like is that kendrick lamar is going to be headlining at the super bowl okay this has caused a frenzy this has caused a frenzy. You know, Lil yeah. Wayne's stealing his panties. Lil Wayne, Nicki Minaj, everybody in their panties because right. they picked Kendrick. Right. Well, the Super Bowl is in New Orleans. And I know. I mean, no, I get know, that. And it should, right. It should have been Wayne. Like, Wayne needs to pop up, right? Yeah. See, I feel like I don't know that Lil Wayne is a, head, a Super Bowl headliner, at least not at this stage. I just, I don't know. I just, Robin, he has hit, he has more, he has beyond hits. He, now, he does, his hits, but his hits are not, uh, what do you call it? They, mainstream. they don't cross over. Mainstream. Not his mainstream. hits are not mainstream. Yeah, no. like Lil Wayne is one of the best rappers, one of the best hip hop artists, but he's not mainstream enough. Kendrick Lamar became mainstream because of his beef with Drake. So you take you take away the beef with Drake, then no, Kendrick Lamar is not being invited to perform at the the Super Bowl at all. Like, yeah, he, but so you don't think guest. he would have been Ke- Rihanna's guest? Like, he. So you don't think this is warranted? You don't think he should be headlining the Super Bowl? I'm not excited about it. Let at me just all. say this: I think you need to pick and choose your words carefully because Kendrick will kill you dead with his lyrics, and he, if he comes for you, Robin. I'm going to let him know. <laughs> I'm for Robin. And I'm going to be Don't like, come for me please. Like, I would love to be the subject this? of somebody's rap diss. That would be so cool. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, trust me, be- not think- coming for me is not going to get him brownie points. That's like, yeah. So I'm not worried about that. I felt like the announcement was like appropriate. Meaning like, 
Kendrick, you have totally taken over the hip hop game right now, right? Yeah. Right, just right now. You've taken it over. Now, how no, long are you going to hold- take it over? He yes, didn't he take did. it over. No, he did uh, not. Who else took it over? Who else took it over? No one took it over. It's it's just where it was. Trust me. This no, is a, if he didn't beef with Drake, like stop. If he didn't beef with Drake, he would not be doing the Super Bowl. Period. Okay. Like but let's, he let's talk about he his would beef be with someone Drake. guest. He would be a guest artist. He would not okay. be headlining Robert, the Super Bowl. Because of his beef with Drake, we were able to put a rubber stamp on the fact that he's lyrically on genius level, right? I mean, he has he has enough songs to fill a Super Bowl show, I believe. But they're yes. not they're still okay. But those songs still are not mainstream enough. He's still he's still not mainstream enough. He's only mainstream at the moment because of his beef with Drake. That's it. Okay, well, Robin, if it ain't Kendrick, who is it then? Drake. What? <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, that's a no. Drake. Why not? What are you telling me? Why not? Drake, okay, listen. So so the kids, Juan and the kids and I, we were in the car um, taking a road trip to a basketball tournament. So we had a, like a battle, like a rap battle. It wasn't between Drake and Kendrick. It was between Drake and Jay-Z because Drake okay. is like Corey. Corey loves the ground that Drake walks on and mm -hmm. we love Jay-Z. Yeah. So we're in the car. We're going back and forth. It's like a versus, like a Drake versus Jay-Z versus. And we had to admit that Corey won. We were like, we ran out of songs. We ran out of... No, you can't I run promise out of you, No, I I promise you, if you sit and go like song for song, like Drake has a lot of songs that are bangers. And maybe it's because, you know, they're more modern. Um, but yes, we, Juan and Robin tapped out. We were like, okay, you won't. <laughs> like, okay, like, we'll play a Jay-Z song. song. We, we would play a Jay-Z song. We play a Jay-Z song. We'd be like, oh, this is fire. Yes. And then Corey would come right behind us with something else, and we would be like, "Oh, okay, yeah." So I'm, I'm telling you, Drake's music catalog is it's very ex expansive. He has okay, that's fine. But th let's think about Drake right now. Right now, we can't find Drake. He's still in a corner, like he's still dead and buried by Kendrick. But so at the Super Bowl, they'll they'll bring people out that haven't. Had, had hits in a long time, but they have classics that are timeless and that are mainstream or whatever, or they're, you know, of course the white people, the, you know, I don't know, Rolling Stones, or they'll have, they had Prince, Prince, you know, whatever, whoever it's, that it's not a, it was not always about, and even Rihanna, Rihanna didn't make a song. When's the last time Rihanna had a new song? Five, six, seven, eight, Ten nine years. years and she years was on the Super Bowl last year. So the, all I'm saying is, this is a one-off. This is not normal. Kendrick, without this Drake beef, he would not be on the Super Bowl based on okay. Okay. the music he had before. And and I I like his I the, the music, the good songs, I like the good songs. Do you know what I'm saying? Like I like his hits. Okay. We we're gonna move on because Robin yeah. obviously is she's on. I don't like okay. it. I'm not excited yeah. about it. I saw it on Instagram and I kept scrolling. I said, who cares? <laughs> I was like, oh, shucks. Oh, shucks. Kendrick Lamar. I was all pumped. Okay. Anyway, we're moving on. Okay. So Atlanta is ranked the most educated city in the country, according to Forbes. Atlanta, okay. Georgia. Educated. I, like Atlanta, Georgia. Right. Right. Well, that's because, because there's a lot of universities down there. I think that's what it's based on. I saw that. It's not based was, on the, yeah, it's not based on like the population, like the people themselves. It's based oh, on, so cool. yeah, there's a, there's so many universities down there. Oh, thank God. Of thank God. Well, Wait a minute. I just want to say I've been to Atlanta, no shade to Atlanta, but y'all ain't that small. Like y'all not. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! I've been to Atlanta and I'm like, 
what is happening? Like, right. <laughs> love y'all. I love y'all. But whoo. Okay. Top educated. Okay, I can't. No. Yes. No. It's because there's okay. a lot of. <laughs> okay. But just for the record, before you tell me, you're right, tell me. Arlington, Virginia is number two. Okay. Which Arlington. doesn't make any sense because there yeah. aren't there schools in Arlington? No. Right. Yeah. So now that doesn't make sense. According to the. Yeah, so I, I think it's off the rip of just like how many people in that area and their education law, like how, okay, how far right. they go. So let's say, let's say it's not necessarily based on the fact that there's a lot of universities in Atlanta alone, right? But because there are a lot of universities in Atlanta, they're including those people, right? Okay. And then yeah. in Arlington, a lot of those people work for the government, the, you know, intelligence agencies and blah, blah, blah. Like you have a ton of highly educated people who live in this area. So I think maybe that's, you know, so maybe the parameter, I don't know. They're, they're including the people who are in the universities because they are so many and they're that's being educated. And then we have St. Petersburg, Florida is number three. So we're going to end this little. um, Yeah. What? Bye. What? Okay. (laughs) I don't. I, so, I would. I, I would think the next Atlanta. Y'all got me back with Arlington, Virginia. I get it. DC, whatever. But St. Petersburg, Florida. No one lives there. So this whole little survey is stupid. Yeah. All right. Now we need to Google. I don't know. I don't understand that. Okay. I don't know what that's based on. I would think they would have been somewhere in New York or over in Stanford, totally. Cal- you know, where California is. But anyway. Totally. Okay. Um, okay. You can already tell me something. Um, well, I was, so I do have, so I was, we, we had a few people write in about the Spellman, the air conditioning at Spellman or lack oh, thereof. Yes. 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 Right in, right in. So, because yeah. every night, every night, my daughter like sends me a text or whatever. And she's, cause they have a thermometer in their room. Mm-hmm. Right. Thermostat. There, there we go. What's a thermometer? The thing you put in your mouth or like you take your temperature. <laughs> You know, take temperature. Okay, so thermostat meat, is you know, take temperature of something. Meat thermometer, or, uh, right? But a thermostat thermometer. is on the wall because you right. have an AC unit or a heating unit. Oh, right. So it is therm. Wait a minute. It oh, is so a thermometer. A- oh, oh, okay. So they right. So- the school provided the thermometer, so the thermometer Hell just no. on the wall. Where's no? I think one. Of the- I think either she got it or her roommate got it because oh. they really. How hot is it in this effing cell? Oh, then that's the thermometer. Oh, okay, okay. I thought you were talking about the thermostat on the wall. Okay. So how no, hot is thermostat. it? They don't have no thermostat. True. That would be like yeah. right. That would be like the right thing to do. Right. Um. So she's like 92 degrees. We have 88 degrees. Jeez. We have nothing that's even remotely close to 70. Right? What, what's, right. The, what's the norm? 72? I mean, yeah, 72 is good. Angel's room is typically 88 degrees. Oh, that is disgusting. That's disgusting. So she said that everybody in the dorm, Spellman, I shouldn't be trash and Spellman, but I'm a trash y'all today, is starting to like get sick. Mm. I'm like, yeah, they're over there in um, a heat infested Petri dish. Right. This is not good. <laughs> it's a Petri dish. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Okay, what did, what did, what did I, what'd they say? So, so we had a few people write in, um, Trey, Trace, Trey Raheem. We met her actually at one of our shows. She was, she related cause her daughter's Spelman class of 21. And she said, it's not because a lack of money. It's, she said, it's like a tradition. It's like a rite of passage. So what? she said, <laughs> she said, tell Angel not to worry. She'll be good by homecoming weekend. <laughs> it's a rite of passage the to rite of sweat passage. yourself to sleep. Yes. That's so, Okay, Miss so me. Denise Denise Baker had a little more information for you. Okay. okay. Come on, Denise. She's your soror. She said I wanted to respond to my soror Giselle shady moment about the number one HBCU, Spelman College. I'm a proud alumna who donates every month. Dang, every month. Wow. Ooh, very okay. nice of you. Okay. Yeah. Um, so due to our amazing giving and gifts to the college, we are able to complete re- renovations of our dorms. The construction project began in May, taking yes. two dorms offline to install air conditioning and other renovations. 
These dorms are set to be completed by July 2025. The goal is to have all dorm renovations completed by July 2027. So let Angel know that we have all endured the worst of the Atlanta heat and that the fall air will soon come through her window. So okay. they're doing so she, and there's like a timeline for like renovations and I guess they're building new residence halls. So they're going to be renovating more houses. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so no, you're, I'm I've been down there. The construction is going. The construction is yeah. happening. I've seen it. So That's actually yeah. not the point. The point is <laughs> why have we waited until 2024 to put some air conditioning in dorms in hot ass Atlanta, Georgia. Why? I That's just don't understand. And my child does not need a rite of passage. This is you know how much money spelling costs a lot. Yeah. So yeah, it's just not, it just doesn't even it blows my mind that we're just now in 2024 fixing this shit. Yeah. Um, uh, but while yeah. they're fixing it, my daughter shouldn't be in there. Like, had I known, I'd have done something else. She'd probably be in an apartment somewhere. But because she's just, she'd be like, "Ma, I have a headache." Yeah, because you're sitting in a dorm room that's 92 degrees. Right. Right. Dehydrated. She over there yeah. dehydrated. That's horrible. Yes. Um. So another person, Kimberly Smith, wrote in with a little education for you. Okay. She said that you know some of these buildings date back to late on 1800, early mid. 1900s and there are many mechanical issues that prevent the current day state of art equipment to happen until there is a full building renovation yeah um and then you also have the issue of overloading the buildings with window acs in every room which angel told you about yeah. um so just throw a, bomb in it, throw a bomb in it yeah so but she did say did you know that you can fill out an accessibility form <laughs> it's yeah. just like, you know from- doctors know that then you can get a dorm with air air conditioning it, right. It right. But she makes- said, she said the doctor, she doesn't even need to have a medical condition. She, the doctor can just say your child needs air conditioning to sleep and to be able to study. It's his essential <laughs> in her success at college. <laughs> Bringing subject, being subject to the heat and humidity brings on added or new anxiety and this should work. Yes. So, so work okay. on this doctor's note. <laughs> wait, wait. So Angel and all her girlfriends she had three girlfriends, had all had braids, right? Mm-hmm. So last week they decided it's time for the braids to go. So she called her father and she was like, you know, can we come over to like take our braids out? Um, he was like, no, because his, his house is, he's doing some renovations. Mm-hmm. So he got them a hotel room. <laughs> Mind you, they're at the embassy suites, right? <laughs> to get their braids taken out? Oh my God. So they took their braids out Wash their hair. They're so excited. Angel called me. She was like, mommy, I forgot what it feels like to be in air conditioning. And like, we're going to sleep here tonight. Oh, my God. I do not want this is. Um, I, I worked too hard for my child to call me to say, I, I forgot what it feels like to sleep in air conditioning. Like, it's I know. Coming. But you, you know, what? this is a great experience for her. She's roughing it. <laughs> She's appreciating she, that this is going to give her a, a better appreciation of things that are really luxuries in life, yes. you know, and blessings. Well, because I know, shoot, my my grandmother's house in West Baltimore, there's no air conditioning. Well, I mean, well, they do have the we we do have the window units in it. Um, yeah, but you know, I know when I would go to North Carolina and visit family, we didn't have any air conditioning and all that. So yeah, she she's being she's. <laughs> <laughs> she's it's a ritual she, I guess. yes yes she is yes. she is learning about life because she has lived a very privileged one and so she just yes but she's very appreciative no. can you imagine that hotel room with four girls taking their braids out do can you imagine how much hair is <laughs> is all over the place all <laughs> over the place they probably clogged the vacuum up when the um <laughs> when the housekeeper came in the vacuum <laughs> Yes. I was like, Angel's hair all over the place. She was like, no, not really. Yes, it is. Yes, it yes, is. It is. Yes. Oh, my girl. Gosh. Oh, my so God. Angel, so Angel, she's not privileged, but she a little bougie. She said they have a fall break coming mm-hmm. up. And she was like, Mom, we have a fall break, and I miss you so much. I really want to spend time with you. And, you know, don't you want to stay at the St. Regis and like oh, have a fine day? 
Like, actually, that was not on my things to do. Okay, oh, let's my gosh. Oh, that's um, funny. But I'm all like, yes, spa day. Like, I'm all, I'm all in. But oh, um, it was oh, right here. So St. Regis, we coming. Because um, Angel needs wow. some air conditioning. That is privileged and spoiled. <laughs> that is actually, that is a tier above privilege. That's spoiled. <laughs> Can you come down here and stay in the St. Regis? What? I miss my children. <laughs> what? I have a small day. That's spoiled. <laughs> hey. Anyway, moving on. Um, okay, did you have one more? Um, uh, okay, so I, I want to follow up to this. And okay. then we can get out of here. So we got an email from... <laughs> now we get this name. <clears throat> Dick Hurts. <laughs> All right, what is his name? Dick Hurts. <laughs> Wait, Wait, even if that was your name, clearly this is a made up name, but even if that was your name. Why would you want people to know that your dick hurts, right? Like, I'm like, what did you do to make your dick hurt? Like, no, I would, if, my name would be Richard. If, if I, <laughs> I would change my name to Richard. Like, oh my god, what did, yeah. what, did, what did the hurt dick say? What did hurt dick say? So the hurt dick said, "Dear ladies, where do I start? First off, episode 149. Can't believe." Two grown college educated women with multiple children are so uneducated about sperm and ejaculate. WTF. <laughs> He's this dick is so What is he talking about? As a 30 year old man who has been snipped a year ago, uh, here you go. So these are okay. answers to your questions. Okay. Number one to about these are answers to your questions about vasectomies right okay number one inpatient p procedure takes less than 15 minutes with local anesthesia barely felt anything so then your dick didn't yeah. hurt so good for you number two recovery for me was about one week before testing out the goods again okay number three the volume of ejaculate and strength of the shots remained at full level there was Ooh. zero change at all in any aspect of anything, except now I could go raw in these hoes without <laughs> worry. <laughs> I can't. I cannot. He can go raw in these hoes. <laughs> he did put clean in parentheses, clean hoes. Without worry of future child support. <laughs> so then, so then he had a second part. Second, okay. Second part, as it relates to Robin's camel toe. Oh, and I have a follow up on that. Stop trying to hide it. One hundred percent of men love a sexy camel toe to show, as long as it's not huge. Then it crosses over from camel toe to mo moose knuckle, or even worse, <laughs> monkey paw. <laughs> Okay, I want to officially say, Dick Hurt, you can never email us, text us again. Like, I you're know, done. I want, I want him to email every week. I love <laughs> You're one and done, Dick Hurt. Because the first of all, if you go email us, give us your real name, because your name is yeah. not Dick Hurt, okay? Yeah. <laughs> what is, wait a minute, what's the email address? The, it's, the, the email is like, what could be a regular email uh-huh like it's not like some like random i don't want to like read it out you know okay just, okay yeah but it it dick it hurt like, you're done you're done yeah. you're one and done dick, no, hurt. Guess it's not dick hurts um yes yeah, so he says monkey paw that is not sexy anyways enjoy the show love you both your friend okay dick hurts. okay <laughs> Woo we i think dick but hurts to reveal himself <laughs> I do like a monkey paw. I I don't even know what a monkey paw looks like. I don't, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> I don't know. 
but, but speak wait before we go but speaking of the camel tone so i came across and I haven't tried it on yet damn i should have tried it on before we got on so i could report back i came across a pair of underwear they're like thong <laughs> underwear that are designed to cover your camel toe so i oh. ordered them they're expensive they were like 40 dollars for one pair for one pair Okay. Um, I'm going to try them on and let you all know how it works out. Um, yeah. I can't remember the brand name either. Something like VV, I think. VV. I'm going to report back next time and let you know. Okay. Okay. How it works. Okay. Well, this, this episode is officially over. Okay. <laughs> Dick Hurt ended this episode. Like, what? <laughs> <sighs> okay. Don't ever forget to live life either reasonable or shady. Or bubbles. Bye. Bye. Thank you so much for watching Reasonably Shady on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe. Yes, yes, yes. And for all things Reasonably Shady, click below. More stuff.